Hello. And we start. Creativity is not a gift from heaven. And I have a few good news for every one of you. We are all creative people. And creativity is just a skill which we can train, like going to the gym near the trainer, like doing some exercise, and it's just a skill. It's not a gift from heaven. Yet only have, uh, we have only one between that somebody needs maybe three weeks to get the skill, but somebody needs three years. But Everybody, everybody of us, and you, and you, and even you, yeah, so, uh, all, all of us are creative. And we want to share some technology, what we use in our own company to enlarge creativity of our team. So let me introduce ourselves. My name is Olga Shevchenko. I'm the creative director at Vidash Web Production. My name is Evgen. Uh, I found the company in 2006. Nowadays, we have a team around 100 people, and yes, we work in Ukraine. So, let's first look at the evolution of a designer from a notice uh, to a person who lives in Mark in history. And let's talk about the traps on its way, which he will find. Yeah. So, the first step with you, everybody, was I can't. So, I can't, this is a simple step where you just try, try, and nothing gonna do, but you just need to try and learn. So, it's Simple step, everybody was here. Second level, I can, but I suck. It's also about a, a lot of people who was on yeah. this level. Uh, on, this, on this level, people understand. Uh, maybe they need to change profession, maybe not design, maybe another way. Yes, and this is way where we get everybody in. And this is normal to get this process when you learn, when you teach, when you tra train more. Going on. I count of can. It's a special way when I think that I can do a good stuff, but sometimes I do a really ugly stuff and I have any stability in this process. This is normal way. A lot of, do you know the theory of 10,000 hours, that we need to work 10,000 hours to produce something and became a master. And we have a little trap that designer want to stop on the stage and be on this uh, stage forever. This is problem, but this is normal logical way if you're still learning. And the next level is my favorite level because it's me when I got my first sight of the day. And yes, I think I am rock. I am a king. No, sorry, I am a queen of the design of this world and all designers will be near my legs, but... Yes, she was. Sorry. <laughs> But after that, I understand that the biggest surprise is that in this is a trap itself. That a designer has already learned everything. He can do everything. And he don't begin to keep in searching and trying and experimenting on its, his own way. I have a small story. 
we have a huge client and he pay us a lot of money and he want to create the huge marketplace, the new Amazon, new Alibaba, I, I know you know such client. And, but they really have a lot of money and we can hire anybody. So our HR start to work to, to find the best designer because they want the new level of design, the new understanding of e-commerce, to create e-commerce functionally, but something new, something unexpected, something really new trend of e-commerce. And we start to work with some guys, and everybody draws the picture. UI is perfect, UX is perfect, everything is perfect, you know? But we have a problem. This is they all was similar. So, okay, it's just a cool, nice, freshly Amazon. Okay, it's freshly Alibaba. Okay, yes, yes, it's nice, it's trendy, trendy color, maybe trendy pattern, but it's the same. And this is a problem, because when I rock, I get a good result. I get a lot of information. I get on Behance a lot of appreciation. 100 comments, awesome, just review my project, and so on, so on, so on. So, and I think that, yeah, this is my high level of design, but it's not. Yes, and in this way you just no go. You have a deadline end, the end of your uh, evolution, and you don't know what to do, and you understand that the previous methods which you use, they doesn't work, and you need to find in yourself the new way how to get to the new level of you. Because you can't learn it, you only can produce it inside. And it, yes, sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes you can do it. But if you won't try to do it, uh, your project will be stay you know, lazy. And from the genius designer, you will be just day-to-day -day routine. And um, do you see this guy not involved uh, in the, this profession? But if you make a great jump, the situation can be another, when you're a really another kind of designer. Yeah, and the next step is create trends. It's the way when you became the inf inspiration for another people. When you do something, then you look at, wow, how did they do this? I really want to do this such way. What the ideas were in the heads, what they, do, what they were thinking in this moment about. Just remember, what you keep in your Evernote or your notice, you, you won't keep the things that you understand. You keep something new idea, fresh method, maybe some un unexpected. You keep something new. People don't keep something that they already know it. And the next level, you've got your own style. It doesn't matter what type of this style. It can be funny, it can be brutal, it can be sad, doesn't matter. The main thing that you even don't compare with another designers because it's your own style and you are the best in it. So this is evolution of web designer, what we saw, and sounds good. But how? How to get in and how to bring quickly this evolution? We got two technologies. First technology about how to create an idea, and the second, make a good execution. And now we want to talk about the technology at Walt Disney. Yes, you know, this guy, I, in my opinion, is the most genius creator of the world. And he... What? He, he creates three rooms. On his office, he creates three rooms. First rooms was the rooms of Dreamer. This is Dreamer room. Second was the rea realist room and critic room. And in, on the Dreamer room, he only think about any idea of solution. Yes, any. it was the most easy room when you just create the idea, you can read this idea, you're so creating, and you even don't think about how this idea will be alive. You just need to make something amazing. Yeah, on uh, Dreamer Room, you just write anything. Oh, uh, some people from another planet became to me and helped with my deadline. Yes, it's a good idea, write it. Oh, I will be create um, time machine, will be returned to the past, and will be changed technical task. Yes, it's a good idea, just write. So, on the Dreamer idea, you have no bad idea. Everything, any idea is cool, and you need just to write. This is the rule of this uh, room. And the second room is about realists. It's very concentrated people who need, they also creative because they take the ideas, but they need to make the plan how to do this idea alive in this world. And sometimes 
they have the some difference because uh, the idea can be very huge, but the plan how to realize it can be very small. The realist answer not why, not what will be next. A realist answer only one question: how? How I can to do? And even if okay, I can do it, but I need 100 years. Okay, realist make the plan how to do it. And the third room is about critic. Critic is where is the most concentrated people. They just need to see the plan and understand where is the risk, where is the problem, where is will be fuck ups, and how how it work. I have some best critic in my office. If you need it, I can give it to you. Such it's people where no, it's a bad idea. It wasn't work. You haven't money. People don't buy it. You have no insight, and so on, so on, so on. So this is area of critic. But on this room, critic really needed to you to see all problem what you can get in another when the project is start. So and while when they receive the task checklist from critic, he will return to the dreamer. And the dreamer room, he start to work with the critic checklist. So critic have a problem. How the dreamer can resolve this problem? Dreamer make new resolve of problem which critic saw. Then to the realist, realist create the plan. Then to the critic and go about this room many, many, many times while dreamer have everything say. Realist know how to do and critic just smoke silently, you know. So when it happened, you got a cool, still idea. Yes. And the second question, how to came from the cool idea to the cool execution? And uh, we got our own technology. And I want to tell you a little story. When I was pregnant, I was waiting for my second child. And I understand that I need to left my team. And my team will be without the creative director. And the first, what I think, what I need to give them that they can make also the creative project without me, because I need to be with child. How to get the piece of creative director to, to itself. And that's why we just uh, make the technology which called CopyCop. Yeah. So CopyCop is technology which combines five steps. And the first step is uh, to visual baggage. Yes, first steps is about collect your visual baggage. It's very important when you're looking around and you're focusing on something beautiful, something amazing, something which inspires you. But there is a very m important moment. You just not only look at beautiful things, you think why this scene inspire me, why I'm so Wow about it. What the tool or what the skill or what the method I'd like in this scene? So the main idea is that not just collect beautiful because you will be just a lot of trash, beautiful trash, yeah. But it's a lot of trash. You not just collect, uh, can you put next slide? You not just collect everything. You need to understand why you love it. Why you want to collect it? Why it's beautiful? It can be movie, it can be sound, it can be shadow of the tree. But you need to train understanding why it's beautiful. So not just make a photo, not just make a video, not just put uh, your ever not. Uh, you need to train only one thing, why it's beautiful for me. What, what I find beautiful on, on, on such uh, picture. And the second stuff, it's about copy. Copy these methods, these tools, these skills which you inspire and which you collect. And it can be different Very ways simple. of copying. Yeah. The first type of copy is just copy physical, you know? So just draw the same. And nothing do new, just copy, copy, copy. Because your finger, your brain needed to start to create something uh, creative. Even if you cannot create something new, you just take something very beautiful and just copy, copy, copy while you will be uh, best of the copy. Yes, and um, Sometimes. your first copies can be not so good if you imagine in your mind. And um, in fact, you need to explain what was the copy of what. Yeah, and when you have a lot of copy, you will be understand how to produce it very quickly, and you're ready for the next step. Yes, the third step, it's about combined copies. When you became a master of a copy or of some method or some skill, you're a master, you make it good, but it's not yours. It's someone, and you decided to copy and just provide the skill in yourself. After that, you take your copies, and now I want to show you the 
one picture which illustrate all this method. Yeah. This is when combined of copies. Do you know, in, uh, nowadays, all scientists, they create something new on the, when uh, they merge, for example, physics and mathematics, uh, biology and chemistry. When they combine something, they create something new. So when you copy, you don't create nothing new, you just copy. But when you combine the copy, uh, the, is, this is first stage of your creativity, when uh, you got something really new, and it nowadays became be yours. The step number four, I need your little attention because it's a very difficult slide <laughs> to understand, you know, to understand. It's a combined combination of copies. Combined combination of copies, what does it mean? It's the time when you're a master of your own combined of copies, it's your own product, and after that you go to the new experiment, new experimental area, when you always make something new by your own skills. And this combination, the main thing is that people even can't understand how you get it. Because when you combine the copies, people understand, okay, this one part, second part, and combine. But when you combine your copies, it's totally new, and people even can't understand how you do it. What, what was on your idea when you start to make this? Um, so uh, this method, very may be difficult, but when you start to train, it's, it's coming uh, like daily use, you know, and it became natural for you. And the logical next step, step number five, it's make new stuff. It's the area of all creativity and when you can change the design. Yeah, on, on this area, everything is ready, and you even don't need to think about it. You just get, get task, and you start to create, and you produce something new. And this is new, became interesting. You became follower, and, um, and you can do everything what you want, and uh, to put new wave of uh, new creativity. And the next gift will be uh, show, show you all the steps which combine in one. When uh, a person decided to just collect the visual baggage, after that he copy, after that he combines this copy, after that he gets something you just So, 30 seconds to understand full technology what we show to you. Be ready. So, uh, I, I think he's really creator. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, this technology is really simple, but uh, only one way uh, what I don't like on this technology, you need to repeat it a lot of time. Because uh, if somebody told you how to, ha how to run or how to swim, you cannot be a good swimmer before you take a lot of train. And you just need to repeat, and it's easy. Um, it's difficult first time, but second time it's quickly. Second time it's more quickly, more quickly, more quickly. And sometimes you will be find your own style, your own uh, creativity level, just be because uh, you always do such simple steps. And we have experience that it's already work in our yes. company. If you remember my story, I need to leave my team, and there is the result of work of my team when they use this technology.
So, when we... Uh, we were taught to learn. Yes, I am getting better at design, by, but I am not doing anything groundbreaking. A major breakthrough in our own manner. And then you become an inspiration to the ones who are still learning. We want to you say one thing, that I'm rock, it's good. I'm rock, we need it to be I'm rock, because I'm rock, it's just one level of evolution of designer. But one rock have a border, one rock have a gap. Gap, because when I, I'm rock, I can learn, I have a mentor, I, I want, I can see, I don't know, tutorial on YouTube, and I can repeat and build it. But after you got I'm rock, the next way to creativity, you need to create in own way. And somebody will be difficult for you. Sometimes it will be experiments that people will be laugh. Sometimes it will be such stress that you even don't show it to your mom. But in somehow, you will be find your way. In somehow, we will be, we will be got something interesting. And for example, I'm rock, it's great people, but they don't keep mark of the history. And if you go, for example, to the Museum of Design in Amsterdam, you will see not works of I'm Rock. You will see the another kind of works, the another kind of the designers who really create trends and they are the inspiration for the others. And only the works of those braves, ones who dare to keep going, and in the end, they influence the world of design, create new trends and became legendary. Yeah, so this is gap, but we know that it's, uh, we have technology how to jump from this gap, and we're just asking you just to try to make your own style, to make your evolution and a larger creativity. So uh, why we need to, to jump? Because when we make this jump, we became to another world without border, without borders of I'm rock. We became to the universe without any rules, and we produced new rules, and we know how to do, and we know how, to, how we uh, can to do, and we can produce another third way. Uh, and you feel free to all technology. So creativity is not the gift from heaven. Everybody can find it themselves and pump it up. And just learn, reach the I rock phrase, get up enough courage to dive into the world of experience and creating something new. On such world, Olga, can you show? So, welcome to the unlimited world of creativity. Because I'm rock, just have one paper. Creative people have no limits. <laughs> See you guys. See you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See you on the party. Thank you.